Hey guys, I hope you are all having a great week and you enjoyed my first Issa recipe. I'm back with my second one and I'm showing you how to make these super cute sheep cupcakes, perfect for spring and Easter time. I haven't shown you guys how to make cupcakes in ages and these are my chocolate cupcakes, which are my favorite. They're absolutely delicious and super easy to make. So in a mixing bowl, you want to combine your two sugars. I've got some caster sugar and some soft light brown sugar. That adds a really nice caramel flavor. and I'm gonna beat those sugars in with the butter. I like to add the sugar first, because if you add the butter straight to the bowl, it just sticks around the bottom. So pour that in and beat that until it's creamy. While I wait for that to be, I need to prep my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients. So I have some full fat milk here. When I bake, I always try to use whole milk and full fat because if you're going to be eating a cake, there's no point scrimping on the calories. So into that, I'm going to be pouring in some vanilla extract to add some flavor. And then I have two eggs to crack in. You just wanna whisk that together until it's nice and combined. And then that's your wet ingredients done. You want to mix together your dry ingredients. So I have some plain flour and some cocoa powder. I'm gonna sift that together. And then finally some baking powder to help these cupcakes rise and some salt. And that's pretty much it done. I'm just gonna start mixing that all together. You wanna start with a third of the wet, then half of the dry, half of the wet, the rest of the dry, and then the rest of the wet mixture. As soon as your mixture starts to come together and it's nice and smooth, you wanna stop beating and it's ready to pop into the cupcake cases. I like to use an ice cream scoop. It allows me to get a nice even amount in each case. These are now ready to go into the oven for about 18 to 22 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. It's time to start turning my cupcakes into little sheep. I have my cupcakes cooling on a wire rack and I'm gonna start prepping for the decorations. So I've got some mini cream eggs here. I've got some googly eyes that I'm going to glue onto the cream eggs with some edible glue. And this is what they'll look like afterwards. I think those eyes just give them a really comical look. They remind me of those sheep from Wallace and Gromit. Such a great program. Oh, actually, was that just English? Did you ever watch Wallace and Gromit growing up? Let me know in the comments box down below. Alex and I absolutely loved it. Now, if you don't have mini cream eggs, I was recently in America and I saw that you had some crunch eggs and some Butterfinger eggs. Maybe these would work instead or some turtles. I know you guys have turtles in America. So I'm gonna start gluing and I'm just going to use a toothpick to rub that on. So once you have the eyes on, you want to press and hold them for a few seconds before placing them into a bowl where they can sit and firm up. Now, if you don't have edible glue, you could probably just melt the chocolate on top slightly with a hot spoon and stick the eyes on that way. My cupcakes have slightly domed in the oven, so I'm going to take a sharp knife and cut off the top. That'll also get rid of any of the crispy bits. I'm gonna start by spooning on some vanilla buttercream. If you would like a recipe, I'll leave one listed in the description box down below. I'm just gonna press that on. Don't need any proper technique here or piping bag, just a spoon will do, and you wanna smooth that all over the cupcake, adding as much or as little as you would like. That's what's so great about these cupcakes. 
And now this is the fun part, the decoration. Grab your friends, your family, your kids. This is a super easy cupcake and a nice fun thing you can do this Easter. So I'm gonna grab one of those faces with the dried eyes. I'm gonna place that on the front. You wanna make sure you have the narrow bit at the bottom. And then taking one of the mini marshmallows, I'm just gonna cut two of the sides off and these are gonna be his little ears. Now all that's left to do is to cover him with the mini marshmallows. These mini marshmallows really give the look of the sheep's fur. If you don't have mini marshmallows or don't like them, you could probably use desiccated coconut. That'll still look just as good. Now in England, you could buy marshmallows in pink and white bags. It would be quite cute to have some coloured sheep. I bet you guys in America and Australia have many more colours of marshmallows. That'd be really awesome to have like maybe a rainbow of sheep. But that's it, it's super quick and easy and fun to make. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'd love to see your photos on Instagram, so don't forget to tag me. So that is how you make my spring sheep cupcakes easy.